Despite the raging pandemic, schools have proven to be safe in central New York, and that's why many buildings are still open, which means superintendents may have the first possible snow day call to make tomorrow morning. Joining us live now to talk about it is the Cortland City Schools Superintendent Bob Edwards. Bob, thanks for being with us tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Um, first off, let's start out, though, with, with this pandemic. Uh, how has Cortland uh, been doing schools-wise with the pandemic, especially lately? Like, what, what's the school right now? Is it hybrid? Is everybody in all five days? What's it look like schedule-wise there first before we get to the snow day stuff? Sure. So our um, staff and students have been incredibly resilient throughout this whole uh, fall. We offer a five-day program, so we are currently remote all for our junior high school and our high school and we're currently offering our in-person and remote model for our middle school our intermediate school and our primary building so we've had a you know we've had a, a number of switches between remote and in-person programming but we're we continue to offer our program five days a week and we're excited to continue doing that looking forward to um, certainly when a vaccine comes and uh, in next school year so now that uh, schools, certainly yours as well, are, have worked some remotely, are snow days a thing of the past or are you still considering using them? And specifically, you're going to probably have a decision to make tomorrow because the way Jim's forecast looks, you guys are going to get pounded pretty good down there. Yeah, I'm interested in that forecast. <laughs> we continue to watch throughout the night and early morning. Um, I don't think emergency closing days are a thing of the past. I think we're, we'll always have a need for reasons to uh, to close buildings, um, whether that's you know flooding, whether that's weather conditions, whether that is you know a, a broken water water main. Mm -hmm. there, there are a variety of reasons why we might have to emergency close buildings or a district. Um, so I don't think that I do think there are possibilities this year for um, foregoing closing um, program and being able to offer our remote program. So we're working through that and actually trying to become creative with some responses, uh, particularly when we might know that there's a weather event coming and we might have a heads up on that weather event. Mm -hmm. So that'll be something as we get it, you know, as we turn the new year, something that we continually think about and focus on. I'm sure you have a lot of staff, a lot of students down there wondering, are you leaning one way or an, uh, another tomorrow? I mean, if you need to, would you call the snow day or if you there's too much snow would you go remote tomorrow Are you leaning one way or another right now i have had a number of emails and phone calls today about people wearing their pajamas inside <laughs> out i'm not, not sure what that <laughs> means but um but yes we'll uh you know we'll follow our normal protocol and uh, that's a big thing that we're working on um, here in the district is just having process and protocol and sticking to that so in the morning that protocol includes me being, you know, at 4.30, communicating with our transportation supervisor, and he's communicating with uh, state police, with the county um, uh, highway departments, and uh, a number of other entities. And so we'll be working through that. I'll be communicating with all the Cortland County superintendents. Mm -hmm. That text stream will start maybe around 5 a.m. Um, so we'll be able to respond to the conditions that are, that are here for us. Um, but we'll just follow that protocol as we normally would. Is it, do you need a little bit of a, a lead up? I mean, people just think like, well, they've, they've worked remotely so they can just simply call a remote day instead of a, a snow day. Is it a little bit more difficult for everybody to pivot that quickly? There, there is some change. So for us, we provide meals for every student mm -hmm. in the district. So if we were to, uh, to when, when we have gone remote a couple of times this fall, We've circled around and then had to provide meals. And mm. some days that means, you know, we've provided them at buildings and, and families have come and picked them up and sometimes we've delivered. Um, but for a day, you know, if we were to go remote sort of in a, in a real quick turnaround, um, meal delivery would be one of the many considerations that we have. Um, but yeah, there'd be a lot of things to consider. And uh, sometimes if we had a little bit more lead time, it would be easier for us to, to prep for it. Um, they tell me I have time for one last one, so I'm going to ask you this one. I mean, sure. given the stress of this year so far on everybody, is there still something to be said for having that kind of surprise day off? I mean, I, I, I know you, you all like to keep learning, but what everybody's been through this school year has been pretty difficult on them. So have that kind of thing to look forward to of a possible snow day. Is that still something worth it out there for 
staff and students? I think there is something to be said for uh, having a day of, of celebration where, uh, you know, we might be able to turn off the computer screens mm -hmm. and, and focus on going outside and, and playing and having fun. And uh, I'll leave it with one last note in, in terms of having fun. Today is my dad's birthday as well, so I'll shout out to my dad and wish him a happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, Mr. Edwards. I don't think I've ever done that on the air. Bob Edwards, I can't thank you enough for joining us live tonight. This was a great conversation. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to have you back uh, very soon. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bob.